What kind of adventure is it if we don't explore anything? But we are exploring the caves. Well, I'm bored with the caves. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> see? This is better. <clears throat> oh, the bright circle is much brighter out here. Well, we have been in the caves longer than we have been out of them. Hey, wait for me! Do you want some help? Perhaps some help would help you. It's not too high. There you go. I've never been here before. That's the point of having an adventure. Say, this place reminds me of some place. Maybe you've been here before. Hmm, maybe. But everywhere I've been in the Great Valley, you've been too. It does not look familiar to me. No, no, no. Red Claw! Now I remember this place! It's... <gasps> the Mysterious Beyond! Run! All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow on our way home. To the land before time. Before time. Under these trees. Great idea, Hatchling. Did we see something? Can't it wait? No, follow Petri. Let's go! How is that a good idea? It looks very scary. And narrow! Exactly! It's too narrow for Red Claw! Ah! Ah! <gasps> Chopper! Quit slowing us down! That was close. <laughs> We're safe. For now. Uh, I think now might end sooner than we think. Screech are really good sniffers. We'll be okay as long as we stick together. Right, together. So they can eat us together? I 
wonder where they are now. I'll check. Be careful. to that ledge. There is always another way. Unless that is the only way. Don't worry. We'll find a way. I do not like being up so high. No, no, no. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, besides, our friends will help us. from his claws. And his teeth. There is not very much room for us and Thud. And Thud's teeth. Oh, I do not like being this close to a sharp tooth. Oh, well, this close to a mean one, I mean. just came this way. That dumb old earth shake changed everything. That earth shake also helped us escape Thud. You have to take the good with the bad. Otherwise, you won't get to take anything. Hmm.
was little. Now what did he say? He doesn't believe we're friends. Oh. Look, we're back where we started. Great, we're running in circles. That good. But Chopper and Ducky know here. We know go back. Not without our friends. Okay. But they on high and rocky ledge. Me no know how to help them. Neither do I. But we'll find a way. That ridge that leads back towards them might help us reach them. Then let's go. But I wish I could help him. If we do, he'll just eat us sooner. He's a sharp tooth. That's what they do. You are also a sharp tooth, and that is not what you do. Oh, he sounds more herded. Well, he does have rocks on his tail. Here all night, that nasty thud gave me a fright, and he is much too big to fight. Ducky, don't be afraid. I'm sure our friends are on the way. Stay close to me, and you will see everything. to get eaten. We can use trees to rescue Chomper and Ducky. Still not a very good reason to get eaten. <laughs> I hope they get here soon. Again. Yeah, and he doesn't believe our friends will rescue us. <laughs> but they are our 
our friends. Is that not what friends do? I guess not in the mysterious beyond. <laughs> That's why Petrie no like adventures. Wish me not go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. Me not go adventuring, me not be here right now. Petrie, please, you must be brave while we still have. You cannot reach us and then eat us. No, no, no. He said I'm too little. And he's right. If he gets loose, I'm too little to protect us. Or help us get out of here. I'm too little to do anything. You are sad about being little, but that is only on the outside. Today, you've been big enough on the inside to make me feel safe. You have, you have. Hey! <gasps> Are you all right? I am now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, behind you, Missy Thud! Thud! Don't worry, Thud won't hurt us. Maybe it's a different Thud? He cannot get to us, he is stuck. Me stay away, just in case. And we will rescue you. Also just in case. That one, Spike! Showed it that thud who is big. Our friends may be littler than Red Claw, but they always help us because they are big inside. to be 
here with you. All of you. Yup, yup, yup. I think we will all be gladder together when we are someplace else together. Like home! Circle celebration. You know, no? She no, no! I don't know either. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Go back to your sleeping spots before Petrie tries to make you work all day. <laughs> Must work. Bright Circle need wonderful celebration so it stay all shiny more longer. Petrie, you can waste your time with the celebration, but I'm going back to my nice warm spot. No, oh, Sarah Wright, me need help. Big celebration need big space all clean. Um, is there more to the celebration than clearing the clearing? Oh, yeah. We gather delicious cold time foods for everyone and have big feast. Mm -hmm. It is much work, but it is worth it. Yes, yes, yes. 
also, everyone think about what they learned since last cold time. Like me, learn this. But we make place ready first. I think I'm going to like this bright circle celebration. <laughs> ready, push! <laughs> Sarah, need help? Oh, all right. Just this one tree. My sleeping spot is getting colder and colder. This makes Bright Circle all happy. Uh, how so? Bright Circle sea celebration. If good, then Bright Circle stay in sky longer and longer until warm times come. The Bright Circle is watching us? Yes, Bright Circle always watching. No, it isn't. So, if the Bright Circle doesn't like the celebration, does that mean the warm times won't come? That's what Petrie thinks, but it isn't true. It's just a story. Right, little foot? Huh? Well, I don't know. I just think it's fun to celebrate something that you're thankful for. Fun for some of you, maybe. To me, it just seems like a lot of work for no reason. Are we done with this tree yet? <laughs> Me no done. Push tree to fast water for bright circle. Okay, let's do it. it. Yep, yep, yep. to see you kids are getting an early start. There's a lot of work to do today. Maybe for some of us. Oh, beautiful day for a celebration, isn't it? Oh, yes, sure, sure is. is. Hmm. Something wrong, Sarah? Why would a grown-up like you care about the bright circle? Well, there's nothing wrong with being thankful, Sarah. Me so thankful. <laughs> yeah, and I'm thankful I'm done pushing that silly tree. Hmm, I have to learn what I've learned since last cold time. <gasps> I know what I've learned it. Yes, yes, yes. I guess whatever Ducky learned is underwater. She's going awfully deep. Maybe she's trying to get underwater green food for the celebration. There's green food underwater? Yeah, but you have to hold your breath a long time to get it. Bubbles! <gasps> yeah, I practiced it very much since the last Bright Circle celebration. I did, I did. That was really impressive, Ducky. Well, I bet I've learned more than all of you. I learned, um... What you learned, Sarah? Tell us. Tell Bright Circle, too. Oh, forget it. Forget what, Sarah? Forget everything. I'm so sick of hearing about the Bright Circle. Why? Do you not like the Bright Circle? I like it fine. I just don't think we need a whole celebration to thank you for being there. <laughs> What's next? Am I supposed to start thanking the trees and rocks for being here, too? <gasps> well, if you want to. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I don't want to. The Bright Circle is just a ball in the sky that's going to come and go and make warm times just like always. It doesn't need a celebration. I think everyone can make up their own minds about the Bright Circle and the celebration. 
then go ahead and waste your day if you want to. But I'm not helping and I'm not celebrating. Doesn't look like you think it's so good to me. <sighs> Where are Tria and Trisha? Oh, they're off on some bright circle celebration nonsense. Really? You think it's nonsense? Because that's what I think too. Of course you do. You're a three horn, like me. Life's exactly what you see. Nothing is a mystery. A rock's a rock, a tree's a tree. It's what I call reality. Reality. I can see the world is flat. The sky is round, can't argue that. While we stand still here on the ground. The bright circle goes round. Reality. My reality. Is no mystery. Is just what you see. It's right in front of me. There's no mystery. My it's plain to see reality. <laughs> I think Spike knows what he can do. Yep, yep, yep. That good, Spike. What you do? <laughs> What is doing down there? <laughs> ah! Everyone will love those tree parts at the celebration. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Whoa, easy there, Spike! Me think Bright Circle very proud. All right, time for us all to get back to work. But, Littlefoot, have you not learned it anything? Haven't I learned anything? Of course I have. Watch this. <laughs> hey, you sound like Spike. And I'm almost as strong as him. Mm -hmm. Here, we'll have a feast of our own while everyone else is busy with that bright circle nonsense. Hi, Topsy. Hi, Sarah. Oh, are those for the celebration? Nope, they're just for us. What do you mean? You know I think this whole celebration stuff is ridiculous. Well, the rest of the Great Valley disagrees with you. Huh. Sarah doesn't. Right, Sarah? Right, Daddy. Well, Trisha and I have been having a great time. We've helped make the clearing look pretty. And Trisha found her first sweet tree part. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> are you listening to me? Hmm? What? Oh, 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 of course I was listening. You and all the others are busy thanking something that doesn't need any thanks. Well, if you change your mind, Trisha and I will be digging up sweet roots for the celebration. No thanks. I'm staying here with Dad. Hello. <laughs> Dad, do you think Tria and Trisha are silly? No. 
of course not. Hmm. Oh, you worry too much. There are some things that I just know. Now, eat. to like the taste of bad tasting tree parts. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't learned that. No worry, Ruby. Bright circle, very patient. Uh, Dad? Oh, yes, Sarah? Remember when Tria took me and my friends to the mud pool? Yes. And at first, I didn't want to get in, but... Once I did, it was kind of fun. Hmm? Well, now my friends are getting ready for the celebration, and... Well, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we helped just a little bit. Well, I suppose we could go over there just to see how everyone's been getting along without us. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy! is looking much cleaner. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, it's just about ready for the big celebration. Hey, is that part of the celebration too? Uh, may not think so. Sarah! Circle is angry. It just means that until we get help, we're just going to have to fight this fire by ourselves. Spike, dig like you did earlier today. Chomper, use your legs to kick the dirt into the fire. Okay! <laughs> Tree stars work? That'll work. Oh, I sure am glad I'm faster at running than I used to run. Say, running must be what I've gotten better at. Tree stars out of the water. I will. Yes, I will. And Petrie, I need you to take these wet tree stars, fly over the fire, and drop them onto the flames. Fly over fire? You can do it. It's for the bright circle. Right. For bright circle. The fire's not out yet. Mr. Threehorn? You're here too? 
Of course I'm here. And I'm here to help, too. Drop some tree stars over here. I can cover this whole area. Here, lots of tree stars. Go. Right, Dad. It's okay to celebrate. <laughs> Once in a while. You're right, Sarah. It isn't that bad, is it? I know you're not one for celebrations, Topsy, but I'm awfully glad you're here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Everyone here. <laughs> 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 Come on! 
for swimmer, maybe. Spike? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall on me. Just a time and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow. Stuck. He's stuck, all right. But if Spike's stuck, how he get unstuck? Excuse you, Spike. Oh no! Where did Spike go? In hole. In hole? Hole not good! Maybe he will see the tiny sauruses. No, they live in the caves on the other side of the Great Valley. What if something down there, something scary? Scary? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Spike? Spike! Spike! I do not think Spike heard me because I do not hear Spike. And me not see him either. <laughs> Careful, Petrie. You don't want to fall in two. Fall? Get pushed up! Oh, how is Spike going to get out? I don't know. He's not much of a climber. We're gonna need help. Help is good, but I do not want to leave Spike alone. No, no, no. Then we'll go, and you stay. Okay, but please hurry. Um. You're it! 
Spike and I fell into a hole? I wouldn't want to be Spike. Can't he just dig his way out? Oh, he'd need a big head to dig like that. <laughs> well, at least my head isn't small. Yes, but if your head was on Spike, he wouldn't be Spike. And you wouldn't be you. I'm afraid I must concur with Ruby on this issue. Spike does not possess the strong, flat prow of a three-horn nor the long neck of, well, a long neck. So how is Spike gonna get out? Do you think you could help us rescue Spike, Mr. Thicknose? Why, certainly. Just lead the way. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Speaking of it, you're it! <laughs> What is he doing here? And why is he eating my bed? <laughs> why don't you ask him and find out? I'm not asking him. You ask him. No way. You ask him. I'll ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. I am Milo, and these are my friends, Lydia and Plower. Hello. Hello. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, um, what brings you to our world? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not supposed to. Huh? Huh? Maybe this stranger who fell from the mysterious above is... the big wise one. The big wise one? No, he's not. Think about where he came from. Above the mysterious above. Oh, please. The strange white world we've never been to. Legend says our dreams will come true with the big wise one. Huh. Above the mysterious above. Where our visitor has come from. Do you really think I'm so dumb to think that he's the one? His kindly smile, his giant size. The big wise one is here. Just look into his thoughtful eyes. Your doubts will disappear. Above, above the mysterious above. The mysterious above. How we've looked forward to this day. Oh, oh big wise one, one, show us the way. So we may share your love from the mysterious above. Mr. Thicknell is going to help Spike out of a hole. He is? Well, good luck then. <laughs> Spike will need it. <laughs> I don't find anything funny about a young Spike tail in trouble. Oh. Come on, Sarah. 
I better show them how to save Spike. For you, big wise one. <laughs> oh, big wise one, I must know. Why is it that sometimes the ground shakes and shivers? <laughs> It is you who makes the ground shake. Oh, oh thank you, big wise one. Oh, big wise one. When will I be ready to leave my parents' nest and forage on my own? Spike's tummy sounds. Don't worry, Ducky. I'm sure I can think of a way to save Spike. Oh, thinking won't save Spike, but strength will. Now, Mr. Threehorn, in my experience, things like this require careful consideration. Consideration? Oh, bah! Let's just start digging. But if you dig in the wrong place, we might all end up down there. Are you suggesting that I would dig in the wrong place? Yes. You've got to think. Wrong place? That's right. I don't know any hole that's been dug by thinking. You've got to think. You've got to use strength. No, you've got to think. Strength. Think. Strength. Think. Strength. No. Think. Me not understand. Strength. Think. They helping Strength. Spike now think. or not? Strength. Think. Doesn't sound Strength. like the sound think. of Spike Strength. getting out to think. me. Strength. Think. So how is Spike going to get out of that hole? Oh, I do not know, but I do hope he is all right. I don't think we should wake him. Oh, what choice do we have? Oh, big wise one. Big wise one? He's saving his strength. Maybe. Yeah, but the time has come to use that strength. <laughs> oh, the wise one. Excuse me. Whoa! <laughs> oh, big wise one. We are sorry for the rude awakening, but it is time. <sighs> time to vanquish the great hideous beast. <clears throat> the great hideous beast runs on two legs like a fast spider. Has the helmet of a three horn. And the big scary eyes of a night walker. Thank you for coming from the mysterious above to save us, big wise one. It's all up to you. <laughs> Bye.
the big wise one. If the ground was soft enough to swallow Spike, We'll need to use rocks to stabilize. No time for that. We need to dig. I don't think it's that simple. Ha! <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. And you're being stubborn. Well, I wouldn't be if you'd just do things my way. <laughs> Her way, yes. We'll get him out my way. My way. We'll do it my way. Way, my way, we'll do it my way. There can be no doubt that I can get Spike out my way. My way. If you'd listen to me, he'd already be free. My way. My way. You can't expect me to believe that your idea could really succeed. My way. My way. We'll do it my way. I say my way. No, my way. We'll, we'll do, do it my way. My, my, my way. way. Did they agree on an idea yet? Me not know. Me too dizzy. Then we'll just have to agree to agree on an idea ourselves. Right. About the sticky vines. They are very long. Yep, yep, yep. Not long enough to get all the way down the hole. But they can be even longer by curling one vine with another vine with another vine. Long enough to reach Spike? Spike can just curl the vines around his middle. Then we pull up the vines, and the vines pull up Spike. That's the best idea we've heard all day. Being the big wise one must make you very hungry. <laughs> so we've brought you all the food from our colony. <laughs> You're not getting any this time. <laughs> <laughs> the wise one from above wishes to go back to the mysterious above. from the great hideous beast. It is right that you return to the mysterious above and protect others. Oh. <laughs> hey, where did the great hideous beast go? Spike? No, no, no. I thought he felt lighter. If Spike's not here, then where... Oh, excuse you, Spike. <gasps> Spike? Spike! You back! Yay! Spike! Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes! It doesn't matter.
matter who that was who was here. What matters is that Spike is the who that is here. And for that, I am glad. Mm. Very glad. If you'd just listen to me. Why should I? My way's better. But Mr. Thicknose and Mr. Threehorn. Spike's already been safeded. <laughs> well, um... Uh, <laughs>